Hi, welcome to another video tutorial by myself, Antichristos XIX on IMView. And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through some of the basics of creating and how to get started. So uh, what you need, first of all, is obviously the latest version of the IMView uh, client. Um, unfortunately, I'm not running the latest version right now, so uh, I'm being a bit hypocritical by telling you that. But uh, yeah, let's have a look. If you go scroll all through here, you're going to find uh, Create, which is the uh, Create mode. Um, if you haven't registered yet, which we're going to go through right now, is um, you're going to have to go onto our webs onto the IMView website, which is uh, imview.com. So let's just get in there now. Okay, so once on the website, let's go and have a look here. It's uh, here we go. Um, you want to be having a look at the top, at the banner, where you see uh, Community Shop uh, VIP Credits and Upgrades. And um, you're going to need to go and, you want to go into here, the Creator Program underneath Community. Um, but before you, if you do go there, it's probably going to tell you you're going to need VIP. I'm already a, a member, so I don't need to uh, register myself. I'm just showing you how to get there for uh, demonstration purpose. Um, so if you don't have VRP, um, before going here, you will want to go over here to uh, buy VIP. It tells you the prices and everything over there. You select your pan. Once you paid for it, um, it sometimes, depending on the rules, it might take a, <coughs> a little, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a little bit of time for you to get um, your VIP pass, um, maybe up to 24 hours. But uh, yeah, once you've got it, you can come back here to the community, go back into Creator Center, sorry, into Creator Program, I should say. And uh, what will happen is you once you, before you get to this screen, you'll get into a disclaimer screen where it tells you the terms and conditions of the Creator Program. You've got to agree to it, and then you're then you're an official creator for IMView. Okay, and once you've done that, this part over here in the client will be unlocked and you could, would be able to open it and uh, yeah it brings you up with this uh, menu um, to get started you usually clear it you can you can uh, choose new product it gives you various options um, like tops bottoms shoes hair head those are for clothing items obviously that's for the, the female here's the male and then uh, if you wanted to go and you're starting from a wanted to upload a custom mesh or um, you can go over here and empty the rivals um, but these options you probably won't be using you're probably going to be getting a uh, product ID to begin with because these options over here you'd only be starting with these if you're a mesh de uh, developer so uh, what you're going to do is, before we get started here to open up a product, we need to find one. So we need to go and locate a derivable product from the website. So to do that, we go back to the website over here. And we're going to go back into IMView Home. If you're in the Creator Program, you can't click on here. It'll just take you back to the Creator Program. So you have to click here to go back to the IMView website. Um, another quick tip, if, uh, if they move the link to the creator program from community, which uh, it used to be over here and they've only just recently moved it to community, I was a bit lost so I always just went down to the bottom and this should always uh, be constant. Um, here you go. There should always be a static link at the bottom for the creator center which has been there for a few years now. So uh, hopefully they keep that there. Okay, so we're going to go into the shop here, and we're going to find a derivable product for you guys to uh, to use. Um, a very good uh, place to start would be uh, hair. So let's go in here. Um, okay, so this is uh, a mixture of ma I think this is uh, male hair. So uh, yep. It's only male hairstyles, so let's go into all products. I'd prefer to start with a female hairstyle, so let's go back to the catalogue here. Go into woman. 
and we go to here okay so and the reason I'm sh starting with a female hairstyle is because it's easier to show you guys so um, now I'm just going to choose this one it looks pretty cool looks like a good uh, mesh and it looks like it's long so it should be easy to show you guys um, how it works okay so this one is not derivable so if you get to a product that's not derivable but you want to you want to make your you want to upload a product derived from it um, you're going to have to try and find its parent and you do this by going to the derivation tree at the top uh, right hand corner here and you will see the various products in the in the tree in the iron view tree which is its parents um, this is obviously the derivable um, it was derived from Sophie Blonde which is a IM view original product which is derived from a female avatar so we go to uh, Korea this one which is uh, the which even says in this little uh, in this little image that it's derivable so we just click on it and at the bottom this link now becomes derivable now you can either click on this link to get it into the uh, IM view program uh, previewer so or the creator mode I should say the previewer hasn't been used for uh, many years uh, so we just take this product ID we copy it go back and where it says specify product ID you just go and you paste it in so it will then try and find it yeah it finds it okay so we have uh, where it says uh, submission costs and liberation costs that's how much it's going to cost you to uh, submit this product your own version of this product into the IM view uh, catalog so uh, just bear that in mind that you would have to have the sum of those credits and the IM view is confirming this is a derivable product which is what you need to be able to put it into the previewer once loaded you will have a, a tab called editor um, you can open various editor tabs uh, multiple editor, editor tabs at the same time while you're busy working in IM view and continue chatting so that's quite useful um, okay so I'm just going to do this really quickly on the side over here this is a uh, hair creating now on the side you see this picture these little pictures okay and these little pictures represent a item on this mesh and how it is checked and uh, the colors it's been textured with so you go in over here and you see that this is obviously the bow this is the hair and this is the base hair that's underneath um, yeah I probably would have changed that myself if I was her but uh, yeah um, let's start over here with the uh, hair and what we want to do is we want to go and make a quick uh, hair texture I'm not going to go through the details of making a hair texture right now I'll do that in the next video but I'm just going to do it really quickly in GIMP um, GIMP is a free program it's an alternative to Photoshop so if you can't afford Photoshop get GIMP okay so we got GIMP and uh, I'm going to start off by going um, file new image and for IMV you always need to use 256 by 256 uh, images by uh, habit at first once you know what you're doing and know how to uh, use the power the power of two rule you can kind of uh, change and mix that up a bit but uh, for now just out of habit I'm going to start and show you this uh, method so that you can get into a good habit of doing this um, so 256 by 256 okay I'm not going to go through the instructions of what I'm doing right now and um, we'll do another tutorial on that so I'm just going to pause the video right now while okay so now we've finished making the hair tutorial and sorry hair texture and we're going to be uh, uploading it up to uh, IM view 
Um, so I'm just going to switch back over here to this uh, girl that has got the hair on it, and the uh, we're going to have a look at these uh, materials again. And we want the first material, and we want to just change the diffuse image. So I've made uh, this image over here, and we're going to just upload this um, by clicking Edit over here. So I'm just going to go into uh, tutorial, go into hair. This is the uh, the hair texture I've made, and you see it's replaced that one over there. I'm just going to do the same for this one because it's the uh, well. I'm just gonna, actually I won't right now. So uh, just going to go and apply that change. There it is. So um, it's just as easy as that. Now there was another texture over here that she was using, which I'll also uh, replace. I believe it's just the fringe. There we go. So now it's all blue. Um, I'm just going to leave the bow the same for now. And in the next tutorial, what I'll do is uh, show you how to change the diffuse map. So let's just save this. We upload it. Um, I don't. I haven't made a um, an image yet for this, so uh, I'm just going to go and show you. I'm just going to choose any image, and then I'm going to delete this product later. Uh, just so that you know how to add the image, so you click there to add the image, and you choose. You you browse your image, and you select it. It has to be ten. Um, Sorry, it has to be a uh, 100 uh, pixels wide by 80 pixels high. Any other size will not be accepted This for these uh, little uh, product images. Um, you name the product. I'm just going to say blue hair. Okay. We choose the rating. It's here, so just general audience so that everybody can see it. If it's something naughty or nude or something like that, you have to go and put it as access parts. So now you want to put in how many uh, credits you want to do. You want to uh, make profit for on each sale. So um, I want to go and say, let's say 150. And then you need to go and uh, write in your keywords. Now the keywords, you, can, you need to separate them by commas. And you can also separate phrases use the uh, phrases as keywords and separate them by commas as well so let's say blue hair as our first phrase comma let's say uh, aqua hair as our second phrase comma and then let's put individual uh, words blue and then comma hair and then long and bow just like relevant words that are relevant to this product and then uh, we don't depends on who uh, on uh, if you want your product to be included in bundles um, I don't like my products to be included in bundles so I don't allow that I haven't made any changes to the mesh or the uh, or the uh, opacities so uh, yeah, like um, yeah, out of respect for the the, pr the the mesh developer, do not go and put your uh, product to allow the diversion from this product. Because if you do, if you like, if you make it derivable, then uh, you're going to be able to start making um, profits from uh, the, the diversions made from your product, and the original mesh de the developer might get upset and do a DCMA on your account. Okay, so uh, let's submit this to the shop now. Okay, so once it's uh, submitted to the shop, you want to put in a, a description. So um, you can uh, do this by uh, clicking Add HTML Description. Okay, so uh, here we go. I'm just going to say blue hair tutorial okay as the description 
Over here, you can also...